Ignatius of Loyola, the founder of the Society of Jesus, was a spiritual giant, the principal agent of the Counter-Reformation and a leading force in modernizing the Catholic Church. His famous spiritual exercises is a spiritual treasure that continues to inspire and nourish number of people. His autobiography manifests the main points of his interior life and is a rich source to learn his natural disposition, conversion, trials, the obstacles in his way and the heroism with which he accomplished his mission. Ignatius, while lay being wounded, touched by grace, wanted to be freed from his past life of vain glory and sin to a new life of holiness. For this, he approached the sacrament of confession, seeking the forgiving love of God. However, his autobiography numbers 22 to 24 speak of the psychological distress and the spiritual struggle that he went through at Mandresa because of scruples. Scrupulosity is a religious or moral obsessive compulsive disorder. Therefore, he confessed the same sins again and again. He was too anxious whether all the sins were well disclosed or not and if the confessed sins were forgiven or not. Ignatius did not experience the consolation after the confession, rather only desolation. To overcome the scrupulosity that he suffered, Ignatius sought the help of confessors and a doctor of the church. He cried aloud to God, asking for his mercy and prayed fervently on knees. At one point, the saint resolved not to eat and drink until God succored him. Leading a righteous and value-based purposeful life is a necessity for all the people irrespective of their age, religious affiliation, state of life and profession. In history, there were great men and women who walked before us an exemplary life of righteousness and purpose thus set a model to us. In our context, St. Ignatius, even after 500 years, continues to be a good teacher and inspirer to all of us with his very life amidst various challenging and adverse situations. First of all, his wounds did not jeopardize his life, rather he turned his life towards a new direction. Secondly, he was humble enough to know and accept his limitations. Thirdly, he sought both human and divine assistance to overcome the situation. In our life, we as family people, students, professionals and institutions face problems and difficulties. In such testing situations, we should not get dejected and give up. Rather, we should learn from the situation and must be prepared to take new directions that will lead us to our success. The method and means like accepting the problem, consulting the experts, counseling, dialoguing and praying like Ignatius Shaw helps in overcoming a crisis and to take a new direction towards success as it was in the case of Ignatius. We seek the powerful intercession of our patron Saint Ignatius whom we admire and celebrate.